Hi and welcome to Crafty Ladybugs. Today's tutorial we're going to be going over how to make the egg hunt bracelet. This particular egg hunt bracelet that I have here is made with only two chains. The one I'm going to be demonstrating today will be three chains. So you need to make up your mind right now if you want your band to be skinny such as the two or if you want your bracelet to be wider as in three columns wide which I'm demonstrating today. If you wanted your bracelet to only be two, you're going to just do two single chains, and this is a just basic two bands laid in a single chain fashion all the way down the loom. And that would be how you would do your bracelet if you only wanted to do a skinnier two chain wide bracelet, such as the one that I'm holding in my hand right now. But today, I'm actually doing three wide, three columns wide. And I've already laid two sets of bands. This is just simple laying two bands. And I'm going to finish up this third column for us. Um, you guys should pretty much know how to lay two single bands or two bands all the way down your loom in a single chain. Um, that's not an advanced technique. So I didn't want to waste too much camera time just doing it right on camera for everybody but I am going to finish off the third column oops and as I said it's just basic two bands all the way down the loom and I'm using jelly bands today so they're a little slippery any color green will work for this you want your base to be green because you want it to look like grass so any base color of green will work. And there we go. I have loaded up my loom with just three columns of a double banded chain all the way down. You want to create some loomless eggs from the loomless egg video. And that's what we're going to be using to make up the center portion, the egg area. So I've got um, about 12 here. We're not going to use that many on the bracelet, but I just wasn't sure how I wanted my colors to work out today. So I've just got an assortment done here. And how we're going to keep the bracelet together is by using the securing band of our loomless egg. And you're going to take and you're going to place that over. I'm going to skip this last set of bands and I'm just going to move up one set of bands. And you're just going to place that loomless egg kind of off to the center forming the triangle for your securing band my first securing band down here at the bottom is just going to be the same color that I have in green I'm going to use that for securing there I'm going to loop that end up in the center so I'm going to do my green and my color with my egg I'm going to do green and another color of my egg will be the third one. I kind of want it to be sort of in the center-ish. Not in the center, but off-centered from the, the one side. So we're just going to alternate these coming all the way up the loom. If you want lots of eggs, you would add two bands here. And let's go for yellow next. And my green. And I haven't gotten a pink on here yet, so I'm going to add a pink. And these are just horizontal bands. I'm just using the end of the loomless egg as the horizontal band. And let's go back to purple again. And here we've got green again. And uh, let's put in another blue. And our end, we won't need one on our end. I did forget, though, to, to tell you to do the um, diagonal pieces down here first. I'm so sorry. I forgot about that. So what I want you to do is just to take your two bands, and I want you to just lift up your center piece and lay your two bands down and put your center back down. Take one band lift up your left side and run that over to the left and place your left bands back down. Take the other band, lift up your right, 
lay that on your right peg and lay your right band back down. So here we have the diagonal securing piece at the very end. I'm sorry about that guys, but that's a pretty simple step. Now to begin, we're just going to loom the bracelet straight up to these pegs right here. And we're just gonna kind of maneuver the egg out of the way once we get to it. But this is really not difficult. This is just straightforward looping, pushing back your cat band. And these are jelly bands that I'm playing with, so they're a little slippery. But I'm just gonna loom all the way up my left side. <clears throat> and it's pretty simple. Just keep looming. Pushing your egg out of the way for our left side. And you guys want to just do, like I said, the straightforward looming all the way up. And this is where I feel like I need the elevator music. Now we're going to come do the center. And for the center, you're just going to, as I said, just loom straight up. And if you're really good and you like to do transfers, you can do um, the bracelet even wider, so it goes, or longer, I should say, so that it goes all the way around your wrist. Um, I don't like to do transfers, and I don't like these thick bracelets all the way around my wrist, so I just do a single chain extension to make it longer. And here we go all the way to the end and I'm going to finish up my right side and once again just straightforward looping it's a little sketchy on that one end because of the cat band and horizontal band but it's okay it'll work out at the end of the bracelet when we take it off and I missed a band on that one Oh, la la la, elevator music. I don't hum very well, so I'm not going to hum for you guys. Um, I have a hard time keeping things in tune. Music is not my inspiration. I am crafty with my hands, and my mind is very crafty, but I got absolutely no singing talent whatsoever. I'm just going to pop that little egg out there. You know, reach the end. So I'm just going to close off my diagonal and I'm going to secure off my bracelet with a band and now we want to pull our bracelet off of our loom and I will show you, oop, get up there egg, I'm going to show you how to do the grass portion. It's another pretty simple step. And my pink egg wanted to fall down in there also, so I'm just going to poke it out the correct side as I'm pulling it off. And the yellow one didn't fall down in. My blue one did. Get up there, little blue guy. Here we have got our banded egg bracelet. And as I said, you can do your um, single chain extension on each end to make it longer. And here we've got our triple egg bracelet compared to our double egg bracelet. Just a little bit wider. And because I use jelly bands, it's a little bit shorter. Um, now to make the grass in the center, it's a pretty simple step. You want to take two bands, two green bands. You can use a different color than the base if you wish. And in the center of your bracelet, you just want to slip knot in. You want to just pull through those two green bands and you want to slip knot them together on random chains throughout your bracelet. And if you wanted more in this particular area, 
you just pick up a couple more bands, pull through and slip knot on. And all I'm doing is just picking up a couple of those chains in the middle and just slip knotting the bands together. And we're going to do that all the way down the bracelet in different areas. And then once you've completed that, once you have as many on there as you wish, you just simply take a piece of scissors, a pair of scissors, and just cut those bands. And that is going to give you the wild kind of Easter grassy look. Of course, I need to add multiples on here, but you guys kind of get the hint. Just take and grab a band or two from your bracelet. Slip knot. Two colors of green together, pulling through, pull through, slip knot, and keep on going with your grass all the way down your loom. Hope you guys enjoyed, and please remember to post photos of your work on my Facebook page, Crafty Ladybug Dash Rainbow Loom Creations. Thank you.